in a world one man stand no okay no we're not going to do that <clears throat> welcome back to no man's sky ladies and gentlemen this is alan paul one more time we are going to do episode eight we're going to pick up where we left off on the last episode in regards to getting a scientist for our corvax space station here uh, for our corvax let's try that again in english we're going to get a corvax for our science terminal here at our base yes that made sense good okay we're doing well it's okay I've drank all my coffee finally and we're gonna go ahead and get this ball rolling um, let me just check something real quick I don't think I have yeah okay we do have our pet okay good just wondering because I saw these flying guys uh, floating around here and wandering around and I wanted to make sure I uh, had one <clears throat> so anyway moving along we're gonna go ahead and jump on our ship we need to go to a Corvax space station in order to find ourselves a Corvax scientist. Of all the sub lines of people that you hire for your base, this is the weirdest. So it's directing us to Azothic. So we're going to go ahead and go there. Uh, looks like a four planet system, no moons. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Actually, a five planet system. I think I miscounted on that. Five planet system, no moons. All right, what do we got here? This one was discovered by Dorkwing. Uh, love the name, Dorkwing. Let's see. How long ago did Dorkwing discover this? Three weeks ago. So we got a fellow traveler somewhere nearby our system. Looks like he discovered all the planets too, so I wonder... Hold on a second. Lighted, iridescent, infested planet. Interesting. A verdant planet. Verdant, verdant, verdant. And a frost planet. Okay, freezing one. Okay, so we want to head to the space station, obviously. Whoop. There we go. And we're going to meet our Corvax scientist now in our timeline here, on our storyline, I should say. I want to say we get as far as hiring, I don't know if it's all four stations or three of them before we have to continue with the main storyline. But we will expand the base later in the... Once we get the main storyline done, we'll come back and we'll expand the base in some what we'll call bonus episodes. Okay. Where is he at? Looks like he's over here waiting for us. Now, as with any of these places... Ooh, we got a traveler. You know what we do with travelers? Let's talk to them. Which lost traveler? Their skin is translucent as if they were not truly there. Hmm, unexpected. Hello, my new friend. What business would you have with me? The life form tries to shake my hand, but pauses as we phase through one another. They are fascinated by the encounter, claiming to be a traveler. It is clear they come from a very different region of space. They have never heard of the Gek, Viking, Corvax, or any of the sites I have encountered. They wish to know more in the spirit of cooperation. I'm going to tell them everything. Tell the traveler about the species I've encountered, sharing with them my scans, the names of planets I've been to, the words I have learned. They are curious, asking more and more. Nothing I say satisfies them. Eventually, disappointed, disappointed, they grow quiet. They hand me a gift, thanking me for what little I was able to tell them. So I usually get nanites. A memory fragment. Holy mackerel, that's actually good. Let's go ahead and talk to him one more time. You always want to talk to the traveler twice. If you could see your whole life, would you still make the same choices? Would you still decide to be here in this exact moment? Hmm, I wonder. Isn't that a good, really, if you really think deep, that's a really deep thought. You caught me in a pensive mood. Perhaps we can profit from this encounter. That would justify everything. You always want to go this one. Ask where they came from. It costs 100 nanites, but it's worth it. Traveler Yolonga offers directions to a place of interest. We're going to go there in just a minute. So let's go ahead and meet my new Corvax scientist. Looks like it's this guy, Operator Entity. Let's see what he has to say. 
Unknown light form. I passed my test. You. I am free to explore, free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. Do you have a base? A science terminal? Think of all that might be done. The Corvax is happy, overjoyed to see me. They seem to have just completed some rite of passage for their species, necessitating them to go out into the universe and pursue their interests. The scientist offers to join my base if I provide them with a science terminal. Let's hire them. You think not of payment. Scanning you while you sleep will be reward enough. That's not creepy. Uh, yeah. Let's just move on. Okay, we're going to check out the couple things here that we always do when we come to a base. Uh, pardon me, to a space station. Uh, I'm going to grab the ferrite dust as usual. You always need more of that. Cobalt will hold off on blah, 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 blah. My nice net. Okay, we're good here. Let's go to the other side. We're going to expand our exosuit. There was a whole bunch of ships that arrived. Our, let's see here. Developing. I don't know if that's a level 2. I think, yeah, it's a level 2. Declining is a level 1. So let's grab our exosuit upgrade. There we go. Uh, let's see what they've got in the... They have nothing. Okay, moving on. I don't need that yet. Let's check out the Starship stuff. Purchase upgrades. Hyperdrive. That could come in handy. And an Infra Knife module. You know what? We're going to grab them both. I'm going to install the Hyperdrive and I'll hang on to the Infra Knife one for later. So we have Launch Thrusters too. We will have one space available in our ship now. So Hyperdrive we'll put in. Two sixty four. I don't remember. And I cannot package this away. Let's do something here. We're going to store this for just a second and take a look. So two twenty, two sixty four. So we're going to put this up here in the overcharge spot, and that'll get us probably three hundred, three thirty. Yeah. So that gives us a lot more. See, my hyperdrive range is almost a thousand now. Very much worth it. So we'll, can't, we'll hang on to that. We definitely need to start upgrading this. To upgrade our ship, we're going to need to find some crashed ships or purchase other ships and uh, trade them in. In other words, uh, uh, break them down so we can get storage augmentations. So that'll be very handy later on. Uh, we just check my exosuit. Oh, yes, we have our larval cores to sell. I forgot about that. And we're going to put this over the ship. We'll hang on to this. And what would the, what's the memory fragment do? We can hang on to these, but these give us important technology upgrades. It's worth They're not worth much in units, so there's no use in hanging on to them. See? We got 60 nanites for it. So we'll probably turn those in later. Actually, we can turn them in now. Okay. So we're going to get rid of our thermal and geology protection and the pulse spitter. So it gave us some, some nanites back. That's something. It's always always nice to find a little bit here and there. Uh, these are usually not very high class. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. And do we have anything for our pulse spitter here? Please, Javelin. Pulse spitter level A, but I'm not really interested in that. Okay, check the trade terminal. And, you know, at some point you're going to have enough things in your inventory, excuse me, to um, that you won't have to do this. But it's always good to check to make sure there's something we need tritium. And we're going to take the dioxide. You know what? I'm going to grab the salt because we need that for later on down the road. You can get it from plants under the water, but it's good to have it in advance. And I'll put that in my cargo container that I just got. So, yay. Okay. So we're done here. Um, so we could travel back by portal, but we have some place to visit, remember? A fallen traveler. So I think we've talked about this. Fallen travelers give you something called glyphs. That will allow you to travel around the universe. And if we check in here under our catalog, 
let's see. Let me see here. It's in here someplace. I gotta remember where to find it. Exploration. Overall journey. I'm trying to remember where I find this at. I think it's under exploration milestones, but I can't remember where. Or is it survival? Hmm, doing pretty good in these areas, huh? On full exploration, very good. Yeah, we'll 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 get someplace with that too. Explorer's Guild, maybe. I don't think it's in the log at all. It's got to be in the oh discoveries. I think it was in discoveries. No, that wasn't there either. My bad. I know there's a way to check to see. Oh, here we go. Um. Go to recipes. Okay, yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Collected knowledge. It's in one of these. Hang on a second here. Make big Corpex Atlas. Portoglyphs. There we go. So we have one portoglyph already. This will get us a second one. We need 16 to get done what we need to get done later on. You can acquire them a lot easier later on when you get uh, further into the storyline. You will go from system to system and it'll give you a glyph every single time you go to a new system. As you hear me snapping, snapping, snapping. Who do we got? It's a traitor. They, they, they annoy me. I don't mind talking to traders and selling stuff, and I've, I've got stuff I can sell right now, but I'm not going to worry about it as much. Ah, the system is undergoing a storm. You can tell by the cloud layers. That's okay. We won't stay long. The good news is this isn't an approximate location. This should be an actual location. How convenient. And it's an infested world too. Okay. I think we landed that one perfectly. Ugh. Those worms get me every time, man. As soon as you land on an infested world, they uh, they pop out of the ground. They won't attack you, so you're good. Trace signal to Corvax. I wanted to grant it with convergence in exchange for bzz, the price extraction from my mind. Their wrist blank, recovered. I gained their... Bzz, lied to us. Convergence, I bet. Sentinels provided with tribute. Carapace to... Bzz, Corvax helped them conceal. They're coming. Bzz, fire, please step back. I... Bzz, the fallen traveler's grave is marked by a glyph, an epitaph of some ancient technology. Extract the glyph. I obtain the glyph, and with it, the ability to travel to unknown worlds. I leave the fallen traveler in peace. Okay, so we have two glyphs now. It's good to get them early, because then you don't have to travel as far to get as many. Now, we could discover the creatures on this planet, but I'm going to head out, because I know we need to return to our scientist. Two ways we can do that. We can go to the space station and take a leap back, but I'm going to opt to... Go to the galaxy map and jump back myself. There we go. Now you see that your main base now is noticed, notified by the different items on the screen here. So this is going to be your main base. It shows you where everything's located. Looks like we've got a pirate system out there too. That's good. Okay. So this... We'll get us back to our base and on with the rest of our Corvax storyline. Do do do. Where my base? I'm guessing it's right there. I can't see. Nope. Base. There we go. It's actually pretty far out there. Didn't realize that. I would have jumped on the space station and checked the portal. Eh, no biggie. We're probably going to run into some kind of traitor or something out here or some kind of anomaly because it's a pretty long way to travel. So, again, we have a bunch of stuff we need to get rid of, so we're going to store some of our things down here. 
Oh, I can't wait to upgrade this guy. I'm going to take these. These are in my exosuit. Cell, cell, cell. Looks like we got another memory fragment from him. Uh, okay. We'll sell that later on, too. This goes in my exosuit. This we're going to put in storage. That goes to my starship, and that's going to go to storage. Okay. Okay, we're good. And we bounced off the planet rather than heading down. Where's my... Where's my base? Right there. Oh, well, that's weird. Somehow, it locked onto a different coordinate. That's okay. We're not far. Up and over. That's a moon. Nothing's far on these moons. Okay. Let's talk to my scientist. Fine base traveler, as of course befits your honorable status. Oh, Corvax shall be so happy here. The Corvax is brimming with enthusiasm. Neither, sh neither their shell nor the walls of my base seem able to contain them. Welcome them. Honor, to witness the monolith of the Traveler. Honor, but please, Corvax, contribute. Take these blueprints. Lubricant and acid. Liquids close to Corvax's hearts. Well, that's nice. Uh, not sure what I'm going to do with those. They're actually worth some money, but whatever. Traveler, harvest marrow bulb, and Corvax will do more. We'll create plans for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Corvax will also clean windows while you are gone. I have no windows. The Corvax is desperate to please, shower me with praise and offers of assistance. They tell me travelers are to be honored, raised above all others. What have I done to earn such esteem? The scientist requires marrow bulb and cobalt, materials found underground. They will be able to use this substance to craft blueprints for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Except, joy, our home will be light and our windows will be clean. Okay. So we need some marrow bulb. Where do we get that from? Well, fortunately, I like to make these bases near um, minor settlements, which normally, by all rights, usually have a cave nearby. But this one seems to be no cave. Cave? I don't see a cave. All right. One way we can find a cave, too, is look towards the ground and look for subterranean relics. Because occasionally you'll find some, and then you can get marrow bulb. And I am literally not finding a thing. So we're going to have to go find a cave. So let's... Oh, wait a minute. Didn't we... That's right. We had that crack in the ground we discovered in another episode. Hence, the cave. Look what we found. A cave system. Uh, so we want to make sure we are on mining beam. All right, dust and oxygen. Unidentified plants. This is pretty cool, you have to admit. Looks like we got some marrow bulbs over there. Okay. I don't know how much we need. Oh, okay, so we can report in, if you notice, report to, into Apollo and with news of your base and staff. So we don't have to complete the storyline to continue. So let's do the scientist storyline, this one last, last step, and then we'll go back to our main storyline. Uh, scientific research. i got to see how much marrow bulb he wants. Return to the scientist, it says. Ah, uh, you know what? We're here. There we go. There we go. Okay, so it says to return to the scientist. Let's go ahead and run.
So, really cool. I forgot that I had this in here. Very nice. That was extremely convenient. All right, operator entity. Traveler, I've prepared your blueprints. Please hurry. Something has happened. Korak seems changed from the happy soul they were on my departure. They were on my departure. They are fighting their worry, trying to stay focused on the promise to me. On their promise to me. Give the marrow bulb. Korax leans forward, anxious for the rest of their materials. Give the cobalt. Korax has completed the plans, but traveler, they have. My people have abandoned me as of 104.32 seconds ago. I lost the hearing. The sight of the Korvax Convergence. Ew. So we get microprocessors and large refiners now. So that's good stuff. We'll build that in a minute. I seek immediate reconnection. Go to this transmission tower. Enter my soul. Discover what is wrong. Help Korvax with solitude, please. Operator entity Kudenpo is deeply upset, claiming that they have been disconnected from the Korvax hive mind. The scientists asked me to take their personality core to a transmission tower for analysis. We're going to go ahead and remove the core. Core removed. Entity offline. Except we're not going to do that just at this time. Okay? We're going to go back to the main. Yes, I know. We'll come back to that. Because ghosts in the machine, we've got enough to complete the main mission line. So we'll come back and do the scientists later. Um, let's go over to our cargo container. I'm going to store some stuff. If you hit the X button while you're in here, it'll just move the stuff over immediately. I don't need to carry marrow bulbs with me. I don't need to carry the salt with me for now. The glass we're going to put in here as well. Um, I'll keep the salvage data for now. We'll hang on to the Viking effigy to sell. We're going to need more of these as time goes by because we want to build a large refiner. So we have one on our ship. Let's hold off on that. We're going to report to Apollo and get the main storyline going again. So let's get moving so we can complete that. So we got our scientists going. We'll do that on a special episode. Like I said, we'll do the science episode. We're going to do a we're going to do a base episode is what it is. And each of the sub episodes will be regarding the scientists. Um, not only the GEC that we have there as far as our overseer is concerned, we're going to be hiring in a uh, Viking man at arms as well. And then we'll also be getting a terminal for our exocraft as well. And we'll be doing the timeline, uh, what do you call it, storyline on those. So, but we'll do those in separate episodes for now. Let's report into Apollo. Return to space. All we have to do is go out into space. And we should get the notification that he's there. There he is. Communicate. How's the base? Make sure you hire a few staff with it. What are units for if not to assert dominance over your fellow life forms? But on to more important things. <laughs> what a nice guy, huh? Ah. If you're going to work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition. We can't have you dying out there. Not yet, at least. Well, that's nice, too, huh? You can find nanite clusters scattered in abandoned buildings and other damaged machines. Ironic, really. The same structure the Sentinels destroyed will lead to their deaths. Trade these nanite clusters with merchants and space stations to get the technology you need. And communication. Oh, and one last thing. Take this personal force field blueprint. You're going to need it. Consider a gift, my little investment into our partnership. Now you can you can put that in if you want. Honestly, I don't I don't usually use it. But in order to do this, we have certain things we gotta do. So let's let's read. It says there on the right hand side, but let's read in here. Install Paul's personal force field in the multi-tool. You have to install it to get the storyline to continue on. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. We have the, the tools to do so. We have a slot available for it. So we'll put it right here. We're not going to keep it there. We just want to get the achievement. And then we have to raid abandoned buildings. So hit the C button. That at rich location detected. Wait for the icon to appear. There it is. Hopefully it's not a building I've already seen. Seven seconds. Hmm. 
water on this planet, huh? That's good. Now, is this the planet or the moon? I think this is the planet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Approximate location. So let's hit the C button when we're far enough out. Look for a building icon. That's most likely the unknown building. There it is. Oh, look, and there's a freighter right there, too. That's going to be handy. I'll take a look at that in a minute. There. Okay. Sometimes it does that. Now, again, I'm not going to go for the larval eggs this time. I already showed you what that's like. So let's go to the abandoned unit here. What's the atmosphere right here? Okay, we've got toxicity. Okay. Oh, I love the gooey noises in here, don't you? Ah, more ammo. Okay, let's go ahead and get it. Grab the terminal. Okay. Final data log awaiting user analysis. Terminal now active. Is this what we become? At each turn of my journey, I find only more to taint my spirit and my flesh. The fanged maws erupt around me when my back is turned. I hear them chattering and spitting. Sometimes they scream sounds that may be words. Perhaps my name. I haven't removed my exosuit in many cycles. I am afraid to look at my own skin. I know it will be seething, fuss wet and pitted. I have become a vector of infection. The corruption of something ruinous lives in my flesh. Don't come looking for me. That's just creepy as I'll get out, too. I discover something coded deep inside the long dead traveler's data log. Something has been left that will aid me on my journey. And guess what it is? The nanites that we were looking for. 140. Nine, not bad. So that should complete that line, except that that's not where it's leading. It's leading to a multi-tool. Oh, now we have to go to the multi-tool technology merchant and purchase something. But we're going to gather some stuff while we're here. Get the hazardous flora. Fla flora. That. That. Damage machinery. Get rid of the goop. Standing increased. Uh, we've got about uh, 21 nanites. We've got a yellow container this time. Ion battery. That's nice. Uh, let's turn on a light. That's not what I was trying to do. Sorry. There. I don't think there's any up. Oh, there's one more over here. Let's get our word for the day. This. Yes. This indeed. Okay. I don't need it on anymore. Okay. Out we go. Train manipulator because we're going to go outside the structure and get our buried technology. Clean up after ourselves. And we'll just leave it on the mining unit. Okay. Jump on our ship and we'll head out of here. Now, out of curiosity, have I... Yep, okay. I've done this planet already. I've got a couple planets I haven't actually landed on yet in this system. We're going to go over to the freighter real quick. It's up to you if you want to do these on a regular basis or not. I think I've showed you this before. But I know where all the cargo units are. So, and it's usually worth your time. You get some decent cash out of it, and occasionally you get some good stuff that you can really use. Oops. There we go. Ugh. Wrong button. Hate that. All right. But it's always going to come with radiation damage, so you want to get away from these things quickly. Unstable gel. So is that worthwhile? Let's find out, shall we? 50,000 units says that it is worth my time. Open the door, open the side door. We'll get this done quickly. Let me see, we've been doing this for what? Less than a minute. Next, multi-tool expansion kit. See, like I said, worth it.
Goodbye. Goodbye. Salvage frigate module. That's going to upgrade our our new ship. So that's really nice. They're worth a lot of money if you're kind of hard on cash. But if you're not so hard on cash, hey. It's worth it. You can use that on your uh, on your ship. There we go. There we go. So we're not even two minutes. We're about two minutes in right now. Get away. Salvage data. See? Worth it. And now all terrain manipulator from here on out. Okay. We got one more unit after this. What did it give us? Polyfiber. What's that worth? Let's take a look, shall we? 130,000 units. 95,000 units. Can we ship this to our friend? No, we can't. We don't have a upgrade for it yet, which we'll, we'll work on. The freighter upgrade units are very handy because you can get technologies and stuff for your freighter. So we straight out from here. Should be right about there. There it is. Okay. One, two. And run away. Another multi two upgrade slot. Awesome. Good deal. Two upgrades. Really happy about that. Now, if you want to, you can get some stuff from this on occasion. Let's just see if they have anything. I'll read the story real quick. Log damage, partial records available. Read log. Data stamp. 1907.6. My love, I dive into a black hole tomorrow. I know we agreed not to. Next data stamp. I warned them about the visibility of such a large vessel moving through the rift. But they are arrogant, vain creatures, are they not? Data stamp. We emerged into the skies above the anomaly. Interesting. Reality itself is abdicated here. Vast hexagons litter the landscape of this once proud planet. Now become the plaything of our unseen foe. I fear I will not be back home for a time. Data stamp. We drank the water. My love, forgive me. It's very sad. Now you don't get anything from it. It just says to salvage materials from the wreck, which we've already done. So that should be an achievement. Salvage materials from the wreck. It shows cleared out. And it's done. Okay, we're going to recharge this, and that's what our ammonia is for. See? Very handy. All right, let's take our ship out of here. And where are we headed? We're heading to the space station. So do we want to head to the space station? Ah, eh, why not? I know it's a long ways, but we'll go ahead and take the journey. So we've got a couple upgrades we're going to put into our multi-tool. So we're going to put them here and here. Maybe we'll get another power upgrade, but we've already got three, I think, three supercharged slots. So on an A-class, you're not going to get a fourth supercharged slot anywhere near this. But this has been a pretty good weapon so far. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade it two spots, and then we're going to go ahead and buy a piece of technology like it's telling us to do for the Ghost and Machine storyline here. Not bad. We're doing pretty good. Uh, unknown planet, I'm curious. It's a frozen planet, okay. We'll get dioxide there, too, but we've got plenty of it. I purchased some more, so we should be good on dioxide for a long time. And boom. Oh, we're upside down. Caught me. And here we are. Now, you can't sell stuff from your cargo container in here. Okay, anything in your cargo container is in your cargo container, and that's it. Now, once we get cargo containers built into our freighter, 
No, I already did that. We will be able to access it from anywhere. We're going to add two slots, one there and one there. So now it's upgraded and we can actually start adding more to this. If I'm not mistaken, where did I put it? Is that the pulse spitter, infra knife, launch thrusters? I don't think we had anything else for the pulse spitter yet. Hmm. Let's see what he's got. So we have to buy something. We're going to offer nanite clusters. He's going to give us a cheap C-class upgrade for bolt caster. Not that we can use it. Let's see if he's got something else for us. Not really. So nothing for the pulse spitter itself. Hmm. Scanner? Let's do the scanner module just because. And I'm going to sell this launch thrusters and this bolt casters module. To get a little bit back. So let's see. Geology cannon. Okay. And we're going to install this there. That'll get us uh, some decent flora and fauna upgrades. Those are the ones I like the most. I'm not as into the mineral ones. Still need to get some base salt. That's ticking me off. Okay. So we're done there. So we've all installed the upgrade module. Uh-oh. One ready return to space. Okay, good. All right. I didn't want to make sure I didn't break that. So we're going to return to space. Get away from the space station a little bit. And let's get him going. You are not alone. I know you, traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. There is no need to hurry. Ask who they are. Zzz. You will find us when the time is right. So we're getting some weird messages from the unknown. We're going to see who that is later. Frequency Apollo. Let's open that up, see what he has to say. Are you ready? Make sure you are. This job isn't going to be a small one. You might not be heading back to that base of yours for a while. Confirming. Good. Let the hunt begin. I've detected a Corvax installation on that world of yours. The, ins the interface in your transmissions is a giveaway. It might be disguised in the style of another species, but don't be fooled. The synthetics delight in espionage. Point out Apollo is robotic, or we can just cough. <clears throat> yeah, coughing. I'm not robotic. I was born just like you were. But this is no world for flesh. My brain, what organs I have left, everything was transferred to this shell. This is who I am. Ask how this happened. I took my revenge when the time came. That is all you need to know. So, start from the hypothesis that the Sentinels use these portals to get around. How do they activate it? We need to observe. We need to summon them. And what better way than to attack a secret Corvax factory? They are both robotic life forms. Too much in common. Too much coincidence. Enter the factory and hack the terminal within. If we gain data about the Sentinels, good. If not, we have summoned enough for, of them to trace any energy spikes on that world of yours. The portals will be ours in no time. Download the facility location. Apollo nods at me. For the first time, I sense respect in their gesture. The approximate coordinates for the hidden facility are logged to my starship's navigation computer. And there's the coordinates. Okay. Ghost in the machine. Infiltrate. Where are we headed? We're headed to this planet. What is this planet? Uh, Quagmire. Don't say it. <clears throat> Urione 6. Urione 6. My bad. doing let's charge it okay so we're heading there next on our storyline so what we're going to do this episode is starting to get a bit long a little bit long we're at 40 minutes now but what we're going to do is we're going to complete this portion of the storyline and we'll go ahead and call it
I don't want these to be longer than an hour. So this is an approximate location again. So what do we do for approximate locations, folks? Hit the C button, look for the icon. It's not always going to work, but for the most part it will. Oh, here we go. Right here. Now, it says abandoned building, but I don't think it's abandoned. Okay, it just says secret Corvax facility. Did I hear that right? Huh, we got a quad here. That means... We're about to be attacked. Let's get our pulse spitter going. I want to build up a little bit more ammunition in my suit. Reload. Oh man, it's a slow reload. We're going to have to get an upgrade for that. And obviously we can't get in here. Reinforced. See? So take what we can real quick. And here we go. It's going to attract sentinels. So why don't we end this wonderful thing with a battle. We can go in there and get to the terminal now, but let's have a little bit of fun. Take out the uh, triangle guy first. Take out these guys next. Now remember, got that quad to worry about. Take out the healers. Then take out the other guys. Reload. Pick up. All right. The quad's here. There he is. He's going to jump at me. And he has his laser that he likes to use. Take him out if you can before the healers come. There we go. Got him. Okay. Keep moving. Whatever you do. Don't let those guys do anything. They'll call in support. I got another quad to deal with. Oh, we got another one. He's calling in support. We got rid of him in time. All right. Anything else? He's going to jump at me at some point. Got him. That was level four. This is level four. I think this is level four. Let's reload. How are we doing? Okay, we're doing pretty good. All right, we're going to get the little mini walker. So this is level four. He isn't here yet, but he will be in a second. There he is. He likes to lob those things. Get rid of this guy, because he appears too. Alright. He packs a punch. Try to keep your distance, because he... Oh, there he is. Because he, he likes to use a flamethrower when up close. Ha <laughs> ha! This is one of the best battles I've had in a while. All right, now we're going level five. Now we could put up our, fo our force field, but it's not much of a force field. I'd love to have my plasma launcher. Maximum level. Uh, we were pointing in the wrong direction, so they're going to appear on the other side. Oh, no, nope, wait a minute. They're over here. Take out the healers. And the triangle dude. I cannot believe I'm getting a phone call right now. Let's go inside for a moment and pause. I'll be right back, folks. Hey. 
and I'm getting attacked at the same time. I thought it was far enough in, but uh, apparently not. Stupid quads. Now these two-legged walkers up here with more healers. Now if we take out the walker... Ooh. Got him. <laughs> got him. Okay, so we got rid of the quad. We're getting lucky here. Take out their leg, one leg at a time. It makes them pause for a minute. And it's worth your time to do so. Go to the other side, take out the other leg. And it'll make them pause again. There we go. Now, I didn't realize we had a couple of these guys floating around. One. Oh, that's why. Oh, come on. There we go. Got it. Now, this is going to hurt. They start shooting these one weapons that are very, very nasty. So, I thought I reloaded already. Oh, crap. And we got him. And that is the item you want right there. Now, the good news about taking them all out, it says the Sentinels are disabled. Walker Brain? Walker Brain. You get two Walker Brains out of that. Looks like we got a combat supplies there that I missed. So we'll get the journey milestone for this one too. Five Sentinels. Um, yeah, let's watch the number go up. Ten. Keep going. Come on. It's at least twenty. Fifteen. Uh, just looking for any supplies I might have left. Keep going. 20. Come on. Keep going. 30. Yep, that's what I thought. Any more? Did I get to 40? I don't know if I hit 40 or not. Eh, not bad. Okay, 40 Sentinels. Oof, that was a little bit busy. So what do we get out of that? We got quite a bit. Now that we picked up earlier, so let's not go with there. Okay, so we picked up the three quad servos. I haven't found a use for them yet, but we got seven glass. I thought we'd get more than that, but the glass gives us upgrades and other items as well. So we got three of these exosuit fragments. Let's use one. And what does it give us? Fuel efficiency and core health. Core health is very handy. Sometimes you'll get a, you can get up to four upgrades. Shield and solar panel. Since I've only got three, I'm going to go ahead and head on to three. And they will link to each other if you do it right. Fuel efficiency and more life support on the under tanks. See? If you put them next to each other in such a fashion, they will link to each other and support this even more so. So that'll help me out greatly. Let's go ahead and recharge while we're here. Okay, so we're in good shape as far as that's concerned. Um, we got a hard frame engine, which you want to hang on to those. They'll come in handy later on. Uh, weapons shard. Only handy for bolt casters. Don't use them for anything else. So we can sell that. We don't, we don't use bolt casters. So we'll sell that and get some nanites out of it. See, it's worth a pretty good amount of nanites too. 480. So definitely worth it. Um, we'll keep the computer core because those are handy. We'll keep this. That's handy. Uh, I'll hang on to those probably. This I'm going to sell, obviously. Walker Brains. No, 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 no. Hang on to those. You'll need at least one, and it's always good to have backups. Okay, um, we want to get in here. Hmm. Can we get in still? Yes, we can. All right, so we're going to do this while we're here. Uh, we have to repair it. Uh, chromatic metal, pure ferrite... Sodium. Hang on just a second here.
The terminal house is an upgrade module for my exosuit. However, I find few clues for Apollo. It seems the Corvax within the left this world many days ago, apparently recalled on a priority transmission to their species flotilla. Something has them worried. Probe the factory locks. locks. This place seems to have been more than just a factory. It was a home to the Corvax who lived within its walls. It appears that they were experimenting with the autonomy for their from their collective. Examine video feeds. One of the internal sensors has recorded movement within the facility. It shows me footage of the vents at my feet. There is something in here with me. Shine a light on it. I shine a light upon it. It is a small hairy creature, shaking and afraid. It cries out. The animal appears to have lived here for quite some time. There is a nest in the corner, vestiges of food upon a small dish, even a few clumsy toys and trinkets. The animal seems to have been a companion to the Corvax. My scanner tells me that the creature is gravely ill. It will die, no matter what intervention occurs. I'm going to go ahead and feed it. I feed the creature. Nervously, it takes the carbon and begins to eat. A few moments later, it violently coughs up much of its little meal, only to try to continue the process, shivering with every mouthful. I move on from the factory complex, leaving the animal to its fate. And I get some nanites out of it. Okay, so i got to return to space and contact him. We'll get my nanites from here. Any capsules around? The plants sometimes have carbon in them, but not these. This is a special door that if we had an atlas pass, we could get through, but we don't. So, let's exit the facility. You'll notice that we also have a sentinel pillar that we've discovered, and we can get to that another time. Um, but we've done a pretty good job here. That was a nice little sentinel battle that we had. And we got a pirates attacking us. Five of them. Let's go ahead and give them a taste, shall we? Where are they? Sorry, buddy. I don't like you attacking the facility I was just in. Two. Three. Four. Thank you for lining up, guys. That was really handy. Hello? Five? I think that was five. That was four. Okay, because we had started to hit him. Where'd you go? There you are. Five. Did we get any money for that? Sweet. And I never even got touched. I don't think we got anything. Yeah. Well, no big deal. Let's go into space. We'll contact Apollo, and I think we're going to call it here, folks. Good work. Your attack on the factory paid off. Do you get any useful data? Say no. No matter. We have what we need. I recorded countless signal flares when the Sentinel started to appear. Energy streams sparked beneath the planet's surface, moving from monolith to monolith. We must be on the right track. Examine these structures. They are all linked. I know it. I'll tune your scanner to the star Sentinel energy signals. We shall soon have our prey. Good luck. I'll speak to you on the other side. End communication. Okay. So I should get... Okay, it tells me to go to the anomaly and speak to Nada. Let's go ahead and do that. That'll get us a little extra stuff. I destroyed 40 starships now. Isn't that neat? Okay. So we're going to do this with Nada real fast, and then we're going to go ahead and end the episode. <sighs> Longest trek. Yeah, looks like we got three Quicksilvers. There we go. Hi, Nada. What new knowledge, Traveler? Is Apollo Entity known to you? Explain Apollo's plan. A Traveler Entity is that is not known to Nada, yet they know Artemis Entity, who themselves no longer recalls Nada. You bring news that alarms Nada. What else does our home fail to see? 
Nada looks troubled. They retreat into themselves. Ask what to do. Polo friend has kept us safe. Nada's carapace has been Nada's, and Nada only for many years, outside the cycle of data. We help others escape, those who by process our reality. Nada has peace here. Those who hunt us cannot see us. Nada does not want it to end. Thoughtful. But better to understand, to know what comes for us. Do not stop on our account. So he knows that something's coming. Talk to Polo. Not as alarmed by Apollo, friend. I am not. It is exciting to see where our model fails. If we are wrong, then there are more friends than we realized. More friends and more stars. So we're not going to ask about the Atlas or the Black Hole. We're going to go straight to Sentinels. Novel. Novel Apollo. Applied, allies himself with the Viking. Enjoys to hunt the Sentinels. Good. But it will not work. They will always come. It is beyond us to change. Everywhere our home has been, the hunters will follow. Okay, so you learned something new. While we're here, let's take a couple moments to use some of our salvage data, shall we? Uh, let's see. Let's start with the exosuit upgrade. Did we already get that? Yes, we did. Do we need exosuit research? Not yet. I want construction. Let's do that. So we need a corridor for those sh things that we have. We do need an access ramp, and I am not going to worry about the hollow door right now. Let's go over here. Not worry, worried about them. I would like to have a health station. I think I need it. I'd love to have a medium refinery. I find them more useful. I'm not going to worry about the nutrient processor. We'll get them later. No harm in spending a thing on a cheap landing pad. I don't really, really need the teleport modules. We're going to get more of this stuff later on, so I'm not really too, too worried about it. The Exo crafts, we will get them as time goes on, on their own. The underground terminal, uh, the underwater terminal uh, uh, modules we'll get later on. These are all cosmetic items. Let's get the magnetic electromagnetic generator and we are out of data to get anything else worthwhile okay I'll get the half ramp and the short ramp those are handy we have glass where's the glass ones the big glass ones they're down here I don't know if I can get them no I'm not gonna be able to get them most I can do is get an arch or this. So with one left, let's get the thin timber wall and we'll call it. Okay, so we're done. And it's going to go through everything. Okay, so we're in pretty good shape. I don't think we need anything from over here. Not yet. I would like to get to the Warp Hyper cores eventually. We can get the Atlas Passes, so why don't we do that while we're here? We're not going to get them on our own, if I'm not mistaken. I'll get the Warp Hyper Core and the Atlas Pass 3. Okay. And that'll help us out greatly. And I can also want to be able to do my own Unstable Plasma. Okay. Alright. So we're in good shape there. Alright. We don't need any upgrades for our ships just yet, I don't think. I'm not sure if the storyline gives us... I don't remember if it gives us any of the upgrades that we require, like these. I'm going to hold off on it just to see how the storyline goes, and we'll need, if we need it, we'll get it later on. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do here. All right. Let's move on. Now, we've done some, a little bit of traveling, so why don't we head down here and talk to Ares and see if he'll give us any more nanites. Uh, usual crap. I'm just going to skip past it real quick. Transmit milestone. So it looks like he's going to give us something. Let's see how much we get. Nice. A thousand more nanites. Awesome. Okay, good deal. And we don't really need to talk to him, but I will. What do you got there, Helios? What are we going to share? Give data on Flora. Thank you, little one. How much did we get? We don't get much from him usually. Yeah, 75. Still, 75 more than I had before. Okay, so we've gotten much, much further in this. Um, we're going to go ahead and call it here. 
and end the episode at the one hour mark. So I appreciate you all watching, and if you have any questions, by all means, leave them in the comments section. And make comments, too. If you just want to say hi, by all means, just drop a line and say, hey, how you doing? That's pretty, pretty much fine with me. So we're going to go ahead again and call it. As I always say, never criticize kindness. Always be kind when you can. Be truthful in all things, especially to yourself. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you very much, folks. Take care.